Oh, lads, I fucking stood on something there, but it doesn't matter. It's been a while since we've made a video like this, everybody. First off, welcome to my new house. <laughs> I love my new apartment. But I want to talk to you about something that I felt like I should make a video about this again. Because if you know me, and if you're subscribed to me, you've probably seen my videos talking about bot rigs, bot, and how to set that up for Trovo. And then there's also the bot, uh, the Blaze bot as well that I used to use that I don't use anymore. I don't even know if anything's being done about that anymore. I'm unsure. But today we're going to talk about Touch Portal. And when I first discovered Touch Portal, it was basically just a way for me to change my scenes. I'm going to get my tablet here right now. It just it was just a way for me to change my scenes and everything like that. Really, really handy from a tablet that I have here hooked up. But Touch Portal can actually do a lot more than that. And it can actually do a lot of stuff for Trovo, which is something that I did not expect. But the developers of Touch Portal made a Trovo plugin and it slaps cheeks. There's so much stuff that you can do with it. So let's go and take a brief little look. And here's a wee breakdown of the whole situation. To show you what Touch Portal can do, I'm going to change my scene to my gaming scene. Okay. So here you are, you're looking at my OBS, whatever. We're not going to talk about that. So we're going to talk about Touch Portal. Now, first things first, you're going to want to make sure you install the plugin. So you can download it from their website. The link will be down below. You go into here and you press import plugin. For example, in my downloads, just import it there and it's going to bring you up the box. You just log in. Uh, it is obviously fully secure. It uses Trovo's API to log in. It's not going to be tracking anything like that. So there's nothing to kind of be worried about if you're safe logging into Botrix or anything like that, it uses the exact same API there. So there's no need to be scared of it or anything like that. Okay, and then you're going to be greeted to something that's going to look a little like this. So this is what a default Touch Portal page looks like. If you don't have the pro version, you can't make this any bigger and you can only have so many buttons. What we're even doing today doesn't even use these types of buttons or anything like that. So if you're not even using Touch Portal on a device, like a phone or a tablet or anything like that there's no need to actually go and set these up now it is a really really cool way to change your scenes in obs and it's very powerful and i even have it in a way that i have icons displaying my total trovo followers my trovo viewers and all sorts like that now again there's no need to do it but let's say if you wanted to do something like that so you go into the button text you do a space that way the button actually saves if there's nothing in here it won't work so you need to make it a space, okay? What you want to do then is on event, go up into here and type in dynamic and you'll get the dynamic text updater. From here then, you can see all the different stuff that I have set up in mind. So I actually have two Trovo plugins right now. I'm not sure why that's showing up. But let's say if I go in here, let's just presume we're in the top one. I had some issues and I had to uninstall and reinstall. So maybe it's just kind of bugged out. If I go to Trovo viewer accounts, and then let's just say we make the text yeah white whatever whatever we want to do full icon size we want it to be a big button and let's make the font like 30 is what i normally go for and if we press save nothing's actually going to show up there on on here but on your actual tablet or anything like that in here there will be a field populated with your numbers and stuff like that but again it's not what we're talking about today what here we're talking about is the events. Now, I already have a lot of these set up already, but I'm going to go through them a little bit just so you can kind of get an understanding and show you exactly what happens. Now, mine are going to be a bit confusing because I have multiple events for the same event. So I have multiple triggers that happen when someone subscribes. That's just my own personal fault. But yeah. One thing I will say about this is I wish that there was a way just to easily copy and paste these events. I'm not sure of a way. Maybe if you go into edit, you can copy them. So copy a snapshot of this and then cop copy a snapshot of the file. Yeah, I don't really understand. I won't lie. I wish there was a way to easily uh, duplicate them. So that way it wouldn't be as much of a pain if I was doing like the same thing for multiple triggers because you can only have one trigger for an event if that makes sense so let's say we're going to go to something a bit less complex okay so let's say if we go to the follow so here is my follow so i named it follow under the event i change it to plugin when plugin state changes 
from here then I didn't worry about the cooldown or here but inside the plugin state change uh, which gets populated once you select this you have all these different options now some of them you'll use and some of them you won't but you can change it like your current viewer account if maybe you wanted to have like your dynamic uh, viewer numbers on your stream doing whatever you want whatever that's entirely up to you but let's say for example so we're going with follow so we're not going to go with the follow count we're going to go to trovo latest follow if you set it to don't does not change to and leave it blank every time you get a follow this will trigger don't ask me why it's just how it works then for example so i have my obs so it waits for 10 seconds for it to kind of you know give it a second to get going and then i have my own um filters inside of obs set to activate and unactivate and such like that i can show you what that looks like in a minute yeah so you can have it set up to do whatever you want if you know what touch portal is you already have such a great advantage because you can set up whatever you want now i use a lot a lot <laughs> of obs plugins it can get very very complicated the way i have some of these set up for example i think the sub one no sub one's not too bad i do have one in here that is pretty intense the roll for example so this changes my border on the webcam and stuff like that and then it rolls it plays the follower music and then it plays back and then i even have if statements so if it's on the gaming make sure you go back to the gaming or if it's on the intermission screen make sure you go back to the intermission screen there's an awful and awful lot of stuff that you can do set up with this and i will i do plan on eventually doing some more obs type of stuff to kind of talk about some of this stuff that i've created but let's just go back to obs here for example and one of the things that i have set up is i'm going to go into studio mode i don't know how well we're going to be able to see this maybe phoenix when he's editing this can zoom in but if i go to the new animation or no custom alerts here it is right here so you see this bar over here so let's say basically how i have my touch portal set up is that it's going to activate and unactivate some of these filters over here just to kind of give the follow alert and stuff like that so let's say when someone follows and it said the follower turned on i can even go back and show you guys this so it kind of makes sense so custom alerts follow on turns on then follow off turns on they have to wait to 10 seconds to let the actual animation do its thing so basically what i've just told my obs to do is that when someone follows turn this on for a minute and there you can see it pops up there it says thanks for the follow and then it tells it to turn it off now this is very complicated i won't lie this is using the move transition tool uh the plugin for obs it gets very confusing there's a lot of things that can go wrong what i will do is i will link a youtuber called andy lippy he did a great tutorial on just doing this on making the animation for the webcam do this so what i'll do is i'll share the link for that video just so you guys can kind of get a better understanding of how it works and such like that but this is really the grunt of it you know when you download the trovo plugin it doesn't look like there's a lot is when you go to your pages and you go to add something and normally how it would work is you'll just be like okay yeah so like for twitch for example you have all your different stuff here and you can easily set it up there but when you go to trovo you can only create actions for channel update which you can update what game you're playing to like preset ones that you've set on your board or send a chat message and i was very disheartened when i saw that after hanging out in the touch portal uh, discord I had then understand about the events and then more specifically the when plugin state changes that's where all these hidden gems for trovo are so i have even stuff now set up that people can do so a certain spell so if anyone casts a spell so basically any elixir or mana it plays a wow sound and does a key press which basically changes my uh, webcam to a big brain like this and yeah just all different stuff that you can set up anything that you could do in twitch you can basically do with touch portal on trovo there's some limitations you can't get emotes to trigger them so even if you type it out so the, the dot dot colon whatever it's called sub underscore whatever your thing is 
that won't actually trigger them as a chat command, which kind of sucks, but it's just how Trovo's API works. But hopefully over time, this will be something that can get updated in the future. I hope I've explained this well. If not, I'm sure I'll hear it in the comments, but I do plan on talking about this a lot more and I plan on playing with it a lot more and just kind of see what we can do with it and have some fun with it and just, you know, keep loving it and keep really supporting Touch Portal because it truly is amazing. There's no reason why you should buy a stream deck or a loop deck or anything like that. Literally, my setup right now is a 40 pound Amazon Fire tablet that I installed the Google Play Store on and I installed Touch Portal and then obviously paid for the premium. So yeah, again, they didn't ask me to create this. You can even see our messages inside the Discord for Touch Portal where I offered to make this video. They're not asking me to do anything like this. I just think it's a really, really cool feature that a lot more people should know about. Maybe what I might even do someday is stream and talk about this feature. If that's something you want to do, again, my Trovo link is always down below. I upload videos weekly on this YouTube channel and I also stream on Twitch one day a week. Those stream, those Twitch streams are probably going to be the streams where we're kind of playing with stuff like this or we're video editing or we're doing some graphic design or we're just fucking around with OBS and having a bit of fun with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe and all that good stuff. And I will see you home diggity diggers in the next video. Take care. Peace. Much love. Appreciation.